Hey everybody, um, I'm going to share with you this mini album that I made. Uh, sorry about the poor video because I don't have the proper things to do it with. Um, this is a baby shower book that I made for my daughter. My granddaughter is now going to be four years old at the end of this month and I'm just now getting her book done. I've had a few issues with it and I will have to do some adjusting on it. Um, it's a little thick as you can see and the rings are not quite big enough and those rings are expensive as it is <clears throat> the idea I was going to go with was my husband's idea and we were going to get a three ring binder a three inch one and cut that binding piece out and then put it on here and then I could put some chipboard and some of the burlap on it like the cover because I don't like the jump ring idea I will eventually get the right size jump rings binder rings whatever you call them and put them in and wrap them with ribbon so they're not so ugly but anyways bear with me as I try to open this thing because it is horrible to open so I used the graphic 45 it's called mother goose paper crafting kit and it's from 2013 if that tells you anything and I got this burlap from a friend I think it was Michelle I can't really remember for free and so I just kind of cut it out and it's on the front and the back and I fussy cut a lot of the pieces for the top and then I popped them up onto the cover as you can see had hole punching issues. My cinch was not quite big enough for it, so that's why we had to do this. So this is for my granddaughter Bliss and my daughter Natasha. Bliss will be four on November 30th. So you open the front and here's the inside cover and these buttons I actually got at Walmart, like I don't remember when, probably when I started the album. Just glued those down and here's some of the Mother Goose tags just kind of tucked in there in a little chipboard piece and I took some eyelets I mean not eyelets brad and put those on there just a little trim here with some more eyelet brads oh gosh I think I need another cup of coffee maybe and then here's some tags from the mother goose line and I have a border punch that I use there this is my daughter I'm not sure why she has that look on her face but that's my beautiful daughter Natasha at her baby shower and then just some chipboard and brads there. And then this flower here and this one here I got in a swap. Flower swap. And then some rickrack. And then this here is some old lace that I got at a thrift shop. And just use some glittery paper there. And I have the eyelets and twine holding those um, the banner on. And then on the next page, I just left it kind of blank. Actually, not blank. This card is supposed to go in there. Excuse me, I've got it upside down. Um, it keeps sliding out, so that's something else I have to work on. But it tucks in underneath of this border here. I'm not going to fuss with it. But then you can see the buttons here. They're supposed to hold it down. I pop dotted that. Add some flowers with some buttons. Little tag. And then obviously you already saw this, it can pull out. And there's pictures of myself, my daughter, and my sister-in-law, Jeannie, in a little tag there. And then my daughter and I. And then the back side, just one of the little cards. And I put that on a frame and popped out it up. You gotta figure out how to keep it from sliding out because it keeps sliding out. This page gave me big time issues because I love this album, I do, but I, four years in the making and I didn't measure before I put everything on so I had to redo this page last night because this piece here I put too far over and I would have had to punch through it and we wouldn't have been able to open it so it's completely different patterns and everything than what I originally did except for this here and this here but this was a green background this was a different background Anyways, so I tied this with just some rickrack. A lot of the ribbons and laces that I have in this album, I got at a thrift shop. Sorry for the darkness. I have to sit it down to untie it. I should have untied it before the video. Okay, sorry about that. 
So then I just took some of the border stamps that Graphic 45 has and this opens up like this. So this is my daughter, myself, my husband's grandmother. She passed away but was able to attend this baby shower. And then this is my mother-in-law and then just some place she can do some journaling and more of us. So this green, you can't hardly see it, but that was where the music notes used to be. So I just finished that part up this morning. And then turn the difficult page. Definitely gotta get some bigger rings because these are two inch and they're still not working. Um, this one I also had to adjust because this tag was clear over here. She wouldn't have been able to open it. So just, just little, nothing much really. Just some tags from the paper line and then she can open this and there's some journaling spots. Same thing over here, more journaling spots and just flowers with a little button that I found at a thrift shop or yard sale or something. And then I just border punched it with uh, this punch here is like one of my favorite punches. And then here we go. So and then on this page I just a uh, little tag and some flowers with some rhinestones and journaling spots. This is the food that we had. And I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of gross, but they were babies that we melted in ice, put in ice. You know, you, whoever melts their baby first wins a prize. But my daughter wanted to put them into the punch. Kind of creepy, but you know, whatever. Then her cupcakes for the shower. And that's Christy, the lady that we had make the cupcakes for us. And then there's a couple little flowers there. I think I got those from Irma, my twin in California. We're not really twins, but we're close enough to be. Um, and then this was game time. So I don't know, I should probably put something there. And I had a little tag that I popped up there. More game time. We, if you can tell, it's kind of in a business. We did it at my business that I own, my husband and I owned at the time. And then this ribbon, I just love it, or lace, whatever. I got it at a thrift shop. Thrift shops are the best place for these kind of things. Sorry about the crappy video. This I got at Walmart on clearance for 75 cents for a roll. And then it was gift opening time. And this red trim I got at the Goodwill Outlets. And it's paper pound. And I got this monster roll of it. For like $1.99 a pound. But I had a whole bunch of other stuff. And then, so my daughter actually got this from my, one of my good friends, Laura, but it didn't arrive on time. So picture, obviously, she's wearing different clothes. So there's that. Gift openings. This was fun to do because I didn't have that pattern, but I found a chipboard album that had that. So I cut that, traced it with pencil, and did it that way. As you can see, it's getting harder and harder to open the book. So then this page, I... Did the twinkle twinkle little star here and I had some washi tape. I don't know if you can see that, but it has diamonds on it. I thought it was perfect for the, the thong, song theme. And then these little stars here and here, I think I got in swaps or something like that. And just another little chipboard piece. It's a pretty simple album, but it took me four years for some reason. Okay, and then this page here. This is some, it, they said it's washi tape, but it's actually lace sticky adhesive. So I put that up there because it kind of matched the Humpty Dumpty little gift opening. And then another little tag. This one, I you can see I did punch it, but she'll be able to open it still. And then lace and ribbon that I got at, guess what, a thrift shop. And I thought it matched his little bow tie there. So I did that all the way across. And... And then there's this page here, just chipboard with a little flower brad. This one is washi tape. And then here, oh, uh oh, oh no, oopsie, good thing I have more. Punched holes in those apparently, but there's just little pull out tags that I made for her that go behind that picture. And then over here, just some more chipboard, flower, and washi tape. And these tags I know I didn't punch holes in. So just added some paper backing to that so that she can write on there. I don't know that she will, but she can if she wants to. And then the last two pages, which won't open very well. Um, just a little chipboard piece there, some rickrack, and then more tags that she can pull out. 
So thanks for stopping by.